shared the example of you know, where they are making this product. Yes. To do that, right? And then they generate the income from it. Correct. Assume a situation where they are not making it. Right. Okay, and they are maybe sourcing it from somewhere and then selling it to generate an income. No. That, 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 that is the part where income tax does not allow you to do that because you are making that as a business income. So in this regard, the only acceptable model is that to have two parallel organizations. And this is my strongest recommendation that if you believe you want to generate income through outsourcing, etc., you keep your NGO as it is, which will only focus on all the charitable work that it is doing. But for income generating, you set up a private limited company or something like that, whose only job is to do that business. End of the year, there's a profit in that private limited company. Give it by way of donation to the uh, non-profit. So this is the model that is being used very successfully in the UK, in the USA and various other places. And increasingly, I'm recommending this even in India.